and in this lecture I'll show you how to play against Scandinavian defense. First, let me show you what the main idea of black is. e4, d5, e takes d5. If I play for black, I would play knight f6 and then take on d5 with the knight. However, beginners prefer to take this pawn with a queen. Queen takes d5. Knight to c3. This is a logical move. Why not to attack a queen and develop a knight? There are many moves for black queen. Queen d6, queen d8 and queen a5. The most popular is queen a5. That's why I'm going to show you only this line. d4. Knight to f6. Knight to f3. Bishop to g4. Black develops his pieces actively. His plan is to get initiative. If white plays lowly, black can obtain an advantage. For example, bishop e2, knight to c6, castle kingside, castle queenside, attacking d4, bishop e3, e6, h3. The idea is to force black to take a knight on f3 or move his bishop away. However, black can play h5 and sacrifice this bishop. If white takes this bishop, he may face with so many difficulties. h take g4, h take g4, knight to g5, and knight takes on d4. It's hard to save this game for white. If you move your knight to d2, for example, then black can play queen to h5 with a treat of checkmate. That's why when you play against Scandinavian defense, you should know how to develop your own pieces to get advantage and not to be checkmated.